Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. There's some good news on the housing front for those looking to buy a home. Inventory has increased, but it's still a seller's market with sale prices continuing to rise. In Brooklyn Park, the median sales price went up 6% in July compared to the year prior. In Plymouth, the sale price went up 5%, but it's inner ring suburbs like Crystal that are seeing the biggest increases. In that city, the median sales price rose 11% in July. CCX News reporter Meredith Hackler spoke to a realtor in the area and joins us now with more on the local price spike. Yes, yeah, Shannon, right now the real estate market is a seller's market. More people are looking to buy than that are willing to sell. Homes are often selling over listing price, so a buyer needs to be prepared when they're looking for their new home. However, depending on what suburb you're looking in, the price can vary. In our area, Robbinsdale, Crystal might be more of where you're getting a starter home. You'll see a lot of stuff in more of the low 200s, maybe 225, 250. Uh, can now be a starter home where in a Plymouth or a Maple Grove starter homes can be 300 or 350 uh, you've just got more expensive housing more neighborhoods with expensive housing while home prices are more expensive in Maple Grove and Plymouth Jerry says that home prices across the Northwest Metro have also increased especially in suburbs that are closest to the city some of the areas we've seen the biggest increases in are what we'll maybe call a first tier suburb, the, the Brooklyn Centers, the Robbinsdales, the Crystals, the New Hopes, and the starter home price has seen the biggest increase in price from a percentage standpoint. As you go up, they're still all increasing, but in all of these areas, the starter home for that community is the one that has gone up the most in price over the last year or two years. Now, on average, starter homes only stay on the market for about two weeks. If you're looking to buy, Jerry Moskowitz says you should make an offer that is what he calls seller friendly, meaning you should have a strong pre-approval letter for your mortgage loan and you should avoid asking for extra renovations to the home.